there are thousands of materials with different grades in this world and different materials are being invented each year we cannot possibly learn about each material that exists out there but from the manufacturing point of view there are major types of materials that we should learn we will learn three types of materials in this course which will cover the bulk of uh, the material class uh, we will learn about metals plastics and ceramics all non-organic materials can be classified into one of these three categories or they can be a combination of them metals are hard ductile and somewhat flexible materials the strong metals such, such as uh, steel and titanium are actually very strong their combination of strength and flexibility makes them useful in many structural applications. When the surface of a metal is polished, it has an amazing appearance. We use metals every day in our lives. Polymers are mostly soft and not as strong as metals in their primary form, but they can be made much stronger using chemical processes. Plastics is just one type of polymers and we use plastic products every day. You can see some plastic products in this picture. Plastic materials come in all types of variety. Steel, flexible, clear, opaque, rough, smooth, shiny, dull, and so on. In this course, we will focus our attention on only plastics since that's what we use most of the times. Ceramics are very hard and strong, but they lack flexibility, making them quite brittle. They are extremely resistant to high temperatures and chemicals. They can withstand environments where metals would simply melt or corrode. So they are very good for application with extreme environments such as furnace or boiler. We also use ceramic materials every day, for example, ceramic dishes, ceramic tiles, glass, etc. I just want to draw your attention to the fact that manufacturing processes that you will learn in this course will teach you how to make products from these primary materials. In fact, in a lot of cases, the selection of any particular manufacturing process will depend on the material you have chosen for your product.